What's up fam, it's Brian Castrillo. So a new horror movie I got to watch, recommended by my friend Kara Shell, Incident in a Ghostland, you're gonna find it on Netflix. This is a crazy movie, and it starts out crazy from the beginning. There's a mother, um, two daughters, there's her and her sister Vera, her sister Vera, she's kind of into boys, makeup, just, you know, your typical teenage girl. And then she's kind of considered, I guess, the outcast, but I connect more with her because she's a writer, she likes to write horror, and I did that as a very young kid. In fact, 10, I wrote my first book, um, about a mummy coming back to life and attacking everybody. But anyways, back to this. Right from the beginning, this this kid comes running out into the road as they're driving by and he's trying to like chase the car. And immediately it just brings me to the movie um, Pet Cemetery, which is one of my cats is actually named after. His name's Church. But then this candy truck comes by and he's waving. The other daughter who's, um, you know, he's giving him the finger and she's kind of waving at him. And, but eventually that truck goes by, it's a creepy candy truck, and they, and they come into this gas station where, you know, they're in there buying some things, and she sees a newspaper which is reading, you know, about a serial killer who attacks the parent and basically, you know, her, you know, tortures these two girls, um, and then they go to the, they eventually go to the house where her mother has inherited this from her cousin and really cool um antique house with a lot of crazy cool antique toys that i i would just love to get my hands on but those two got there was two guys in that crazy um candy truck they, they end up coming back one's like this kingpin looking motherfucker really huge guy and another guy who's wearing a dress and the big guy he's kind of He's basically very developmentally delayed, but he's attacking everybody. Um, really scary. And it, eventually, you know, the mother ends up killing him. This is all in the first, like, 20 minutes of the movie. And he, she ends up killing him. But then we find out... Well, actually, you know what? This movie plays a lot on, you know, mental illness. And it's also going to play with the, the watcher as to what is real and what is not real. It does a very good job at... Um, leaving suspense as to what you think is actually going on. It's very scary, and what makes it scarier and creepier is that this is something that could act could actually happen. Um, you know, with because there's plenty of crazy people in the world, but definitely recommend this. Um, she does a fantastic job in this movie. A lot of creepy stuff that makes you say what the fuck, and some great jump scares, especially with this Chinese puzzle box mirror, which you'll know right from the beginning once you see it. But definitely go check this out. And if you guys got any other movies you want to recommend, let me know and I'll review them.